Hi, my name is John Drux. Welcome to my website, LiveCalf.com. The sole purpose is to display talent. I'm hoping someone sees the talent and wants me to do this professionally. I'm seeking sponsorship. But again, unbiased sponsorship. Someone that see, sees what I've done and wants me to continue. Most of the talent you see is from the Fresno, California area. There's musical talent and then there's also my talent. The first thing you see on LiveCalf.com is a series of documentary commentary first one being change that's what my main focus is until the election of 2012 is change if you're going to listen to anybody listen to their ideas you need to know who this person is I do have a video under people but I'll give you a brief resume again my name is John Drux I grew up in Menasha, Wisconsin which is 30 miles south of Green Bay. I went to a Catholic high school, had a doctor for an English teacher, learned how to write. I then moved to San Diego, California, so I got that life of experience of going from a small town in Wisconsin, again, Menasha. There's there are twin cities actually called Nina Menasha. And at the time I grew up, I believe Nina, Wisconsin, it's the home of the paper paper industry, or at least it was until everything's been outsourced. But when I grew up, I believe Nina, Wisconsin, had more millionaires per capita than any other place in the country. So I grew up good, wasn't that I was rich, but middle class, but going to good schools and again had a doctor as an English teacher. Moved to San Diego, went to college, got my eyes opened to the other side of the world. And then I moved to Fresno went to Fresno State University and when I was a senior at Fresno State University I was told by my business writing class professor again a Harvard Business School PhD that I was the best business writer he ever saw why I never pursued a career in writing, I'm not sure. And I guess that's why I'm doing this now. After I graduated from Fresno State, and I do believe I had a 4.0 in all my business management classes. So again, I'm a business major, I know business. What I said is when I went to Fresno State, I got down to business and learned business. Moved down to San Diego again, missed the beach, got a job with Marriott Hotels. My last position with the La Jolla Marriott, which is just north of San Diego, was night audit manager and also manager on duty of the hotel. So again, an auditor and the night manager in charge of the hotel, in charge of the problems. I then went out to the desert, Marriott Desert Springs Resort and Spa in Palm Desert, California. At the time it was built, I believe it was the, the most expensive resort ever built in the United States. It was always considered one of the top hotels in the country. Started as a night manager there, 
when the general manager left the hotel at 5 o'clock, I was in charge, at least on paper. Someone said, I want to talk to the person in charge, it was me. Again, problem solver. I was then promoted to director of loss prevention, which might be better known as director of security. Again, dealing with problems, and actually this time dealing with thieves. I left Marriott in 1999, went back to Menashe, Wisconsin for a little bit, took care of my grandma's business. She, she got put in a nursing home and I sold her house. So I kind of thought to myself, what am I going to do with my life? Maybe I should try to sell houses. I actually moved back to Fresno, California for, for family reasons. My sister had an illness and my grandma was put in a nursing home so we brought her out to Fresno. And I became a real estate broker. Ran a successful business for over six years. Built it from ground up. Broker by himself. And basically lost my second career because the game's being played. And I called out the housing problem over five years ago and no one's listened. So again my first documentary is called Change. I'll keep doing it in this format until the election day. And then, then the other documentary is called The Short Sale of the American Dream. Again, I'm a real estate broker in Fresno, California. Basically the epicenter of the housing crisis. I watched the rise and fall of the housing market right before my very eyes and called it out. Called out the problem as soon as I saw it. And we've had no recovery. We have cities going bankrupt in California right now because of the housing market. We have police, fire, and teachers all in jeopardy. And it's all because of the housing market. The game being played in the housing market. You need to watch the short sale of the American Dream. Again, there's also a documentary commentary called People, and I really haven't worked on it much lately, but it's something I want to work on in the future because People is something you can talk about till the end of time, and it gets down to it. People are interesting, but also the problem with People is most, if not all, the problems our country faces right now are man-made. The way we treat each other, the way we do business, and basically the way most people just want to put their head in the sand. And again, I'm standing up right now and trying to change things, including trying to change people, which good luck there. Finally on my website you see music videos. I've always had a love for music and when I was sitting in Fresno couldn't sell a house anymore and again now I grew up I grew up in the richest area of the country at least most millionaires per capita and now I live in the poorest area of the country Fresno California and also a host of all problems, all social problems, all economic problems. I always say that I don't have to go much out my front door to see everything that's wrong with America. So again, I'm hoping someone sees my talent, my experience, someone that's lived in this world, and actually I had my dad die when I was 12 years old. That was probably the greatest lesson in life I have. I've been standing on my own two feet since I was 12 and never have backed down to a single person in my life. I've stood up to every bully and I'm standing up to the biggest bully there is right now. It's our corrupt government. We need change now. But again, I'm looking in Fresno, can't sell a house, and what can I do? And I looked and said, 
look at all this musical talent, especially the songs of the 60s and 70s, because the theme of LiveCalif.com is the hippies had it right. We were told over 40 years ago how to live. We didn't listen and look at the world we live in today. Instead of turning into hippies, we're a bunch of hypocrites, a bunch of hating hypocrites. It's not saying everybody, but everyone needs to good, take a good look in the mirror. And it gets into, you should treat people how you want to be treated. And I've never looked for a fight in my life. But again, I've never backed down from one either. But there's, there's a ton of musical talent here in Fresno. There's also some talent from other parts of California. But again, the majority is from the Fresno area. I'm hoping someone sees the talent wants to do this professionally because again everything you see on this website I've done myself using a small digital camera and I know it's not the best but again I think it's good enough to show talent and hopefully someone does want to sponsor me to do this professionally including the music I'm hoping the music industry doesn't see it as copyright infringement as again it's, be, it's done on a small digital camera, $89 digital camera. I'm not selling anything and when it gets down to it, all these songs, most of them are 40 to 50 years old. Most of these songs cannot be performed today by the original artists. Either they've already died, died before their time, maybe because of some of the problems we have in this world or they're getting too old to perform live we just celebrated the 50 year anniversary of the Rolling Stones first concert 50 years I'm hoping it's not seen as copyright infringement and if, if there is a sponsorship to make this professionally I will do everything I can to get permission if that's what's required to do it professionally. I want to do this live. I want to record it. Because again, one of the greatest natural resources of the Central Valley of California is musical talent. And when it comes down to it, most of these people have spent their entire life playing music and they're not being rewarded the way they should for their hard work and it gets into rock and roll can never die we need to pass the torch to the next generation keep rock and roll alive keep the hippie mind set alive make love not war treat others how you want to be treated conduct business in a fair way not be forced into doing things you shouldn't be doing that end up causing catastrophes. This country's in trouble. Sometimes I almost think we're back, living back in the late 60s, early 70s, fighting in wars we can't win. Corrupt government. Impeach president. We didn't listen. We were told over 40 years ago how to live. We didn't listen. We let these white collar criminals run our country into the ground. It's time for all the hippies, the generation below like me, and all our kids to stand up. We are a voting majority and tell them enough's enough. LiveCalif.com is in conjunction with my web, my Facebook page. You need to look at my Facebook page, and I'm trying to start a third-party movement in the United States of America to elect a third-party candidate, namely Gary Johnson, to let the Democrats and Republicans know enough is enough. And my idea is, is to have music live in conjunction with the campaign being broadcast live 
I want to be down in Venice Beach, but hopefully there's other areas of the country. And again, a third party movement, and it's not even so much Gary Johnson as it is the message. The message that we've had enough. The Democrats and Republicans have failed this country, and it's time for them to be Americans. We need to work together and solve our problems. So, again, John Drucks, livecalf.com. Take a look at my Facebook page. Keep watching. And excuse me, because again, everything you see on livecalf.com has been done myself, including building the website, to all the videos using a small digital camera. So you're going to have to excuse me while I drop my grammar. Have a great day.